Jason here with Digital DJ Gear and Musically Yours in Hackensack, New Jersey. Today we're going to review the functions of your Scarlett system and help you start monitoring and recording audio the right way. After the hardware setup shown in the last video, you're ready to start using your Focusrite 2i2 audio interface. Be sure to click the link in the description to download the Scarlett 2i2 third generation user guide from the Focusrite website for more information. First, we will discuss the inputs located on the front of the 2i2 audio interface. Inputs 1 and 2 are combo sockets that accept both XLR and quarter inch jacks. This is where you will connect your microphones, instruments, or line level signals. Microphones will normally be connected using XLR plugs. Instruments and line level signals should be connected via quarter inch jack plugs of either TR or TRS type. The gain knobs allow you to adjust the preamp gain for signals 1 and 2 respectively. The gain controls have concentric tricolor LED rings to confirm signal level. Green indicates an input level of at least negative 24 dB. The ring then turns amber at negative 6 dB to indicate that the signal is close to clipping. And finally, red at 0 dB, which is digital clipping. To avoid distortion, make sure the ring stays in green and do not allow the ring to display red. For the included CM25 Mark III condenser microphone, you will need to enable phantom power. Phantom power gives a 48 volt boost to your microphone to power the device. Push the 48 volt button on the front of the interface to enable phantom power. Line instrument level switches are on each input, which alter gain and input impedance to suit either instrument or line level signals. Instrument illuminates red when the instrument mode is selected. The air buttons are two switches enabling air mode for each input. Air modifies the frequency response of the input stage to model the classic transformer-based Focusrite ISA microphone preamps. Air illuminates yellow when the mode is selected. Main monitor output level control sets the output level at the main outputs left and right. The USB LED illuminates when the unit receives USB bus power and is confirmed by the computer as connected and operating correctly. The direct monitor switch determines how input sources are to be monitored and steps between three direct monitoring modes, off, mono, and stereo. When set to off, monitoring of input sources is via the DAW. In mono or stereo, monitoring is taken directly from the preamp inputs and is therefore free of any possible latency effect. The symbols will illuminate green to indicate selection of mono and stereo modes respectively. The headphone level adjusts the output level at the front panel stereo headphone output. Turn this knob up or down to adjust the monitor volume of your headphones. The headphone socket, a quarter inch TRS output jack, is featured on the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. The included HP60 Mark III professional closed back headphones have a TRS quarter inch to three and a half millimeter jack adapter for use with your 2i2 system. Use this adapter to connect your headphones to the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface for monitoring while recording and playback. On the back panel, you will notice the Kensington security lock. Secure your Scarlett 2i2 to a suitable structure if desired. This will help you secure your interface against theft. This has a USB 3.0 port Type-C connector. Connect to your computer with the cable supplied. The line outputs, left and right, two quarter inch TRS jack sockets, plus 10 dB output level electronically balanced. Either quarter inch TRS or TS jack plugs can be used. Now you know all of the functions of your Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. The next video will discuss software downloads that will help you enable your audio recording. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear and Musical.ly Yours. Be sure to check out the rest of our content series on recording with Focusrite Scarlett interfaces. For all your pro audio, DJ, lighting, and recording needs, check us out at digitaldjgear.com. If this video helped you, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Also, check out these other videos we think you'll like from us at Digital DJ Gear.